Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Marks. Make sure we're rolling. Okay, um, today we've got owl earrings. I haven't worn these in a long time. They're really fun. You know, the fake little gems. You gotta love it. Anyway, uh, now listen, I've got a turtleneck on today. But check out these birds. Um, it's 74 degrees out. You know how it is at this time of year. It's like you freeze indoors. You still gotta have your heat on. When you get outside and you're about to roast. Okay, look how cute. This bird is from the white squirrel shop up at Brevard, North Carolina. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? And Lorraine is the owner. I hope I have the name right. I'm pretty sure I did. I, I saw something with her name yesterday. Oh, I found her business card. I have two of them. Very cute. And then I've got, um, well, that plant needs replacing, apparently. Ooh. All right, guys. So I have nothing um, on my dining table except a few items. Uh, that's because I just got floors replaced. 24-year-old carpet. Goodbye. This is a luxury vinyl plank from Abbey Floor Fashion. And right now, this table's cleared. Usually, I have it loaded up with books to read. I've got about 150 books I need to read. And bird magazines behind schedule. Here's our Feather Friends Forever. Woo, look how cute. Um, mouse pad. And, oh, look. I just got this free from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. I just got this free... Uh, bookmark really cute we got our coaster from pete and nancy Ooh. friend the parrot business cards and i i got this parrot from the oasis sanctuary that was an online auction and the feathers are from michael's that's a craft store if you've never been there here's our latest birds and blooms wild for plants and here's freedom here's um my lovely neighbors kurt and francesca got me the really cool parrot um, paintings, two of them. Look how cool. Wait a minute, let me get out of the light here. Hey, Freedom! We got the light on because Freedom and I are about to do a Zoom meeting with a parrot organization. Really cool. All right, I'm trying to figure out here if I sit on the couch and aim it up. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Freedom! We got the parrot and look, I love the zebra. I got this for a few dollars at the church mouse. I love it because, hello, you got the zebra and then you got your fabric looking cool. This is a wood duck. I have not seen any wood ducks out at Pinckney Island National Wildlife Refuge. Um, I need to, oh, I need to head over to Cypress Wetlands. Here's me. This is a little bit crooked. We're gonna straighten it out. Look, on an alligator. I gotta post this video. It's a four second video. Um, I just had to blur out the people and that was at Gatorland in 2017. That was the first year I went. I told my dad I was gonna do it. So I'm gonna sit on a live alligator, not kidding. Cape Cod, it's just a gator. That is from Edisto Island Serpentarium. Hi, Freedom. Okay, here's Freedom. So, we're going to do a Zoom meeting. Actually, get this, guys. So, we have a Zoom meeting with a parrot organization in a minute. We're going to learn how parrots can see differently than other birds. Pretty cool. And then we've got the American Bird Conservancy. They are doing a 4 p.m. Zoom called... <sighs> the lost, the search for lost birds. And they said sometimes, you know, a bird can be uh, announced as extinct. Nobody sees it for, you know, listen, it could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years. And then all of a sudden someone's like, oh, I saw, I saw this particular bird species the other day. And as long as you get a photo you have, or you have two people to verify it, you know, sometimes when you do like the Christmas bird count, you're allowed to count a bird by sound alone. You know, if it was a, like a barred owl, who cooks for you? They go, hoo, 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 hoo. You know, it's a barred owl. But I'm sure with a bird that's been extinct for years, uh, I'm sure you have to have photographic evidence. And look, isn't this cool? I'll film this later. This is an old book. Uh, one of the Audubon members, their mom had this book. I want to say, oh yeah, here, look. Copyright, I can't even see. Like 1943, isn't that amazing? And I got this on lovely blanket, keeps me really warm in the evenings from the church mouse. And speaking of lost birds, okay, I don't know if you can see the name, the grail bird, you know, the pileated woodpecker. Well, we have the, no, that's the pileated woodpecker on that we have on the island. But this picture on the book, because now I'm confusing myself, <laughs> the grail bird is the ivory-billed woodpecker. 
So ivory billed woodpecker, you see how much white is on the body? So the pileated woodpecker, yeah, if you've never seen one, look it up. Pileated woodpecker, Karen Martz, press video. They are the most gorgeous birds. So they are now like the largest bird in North America. Uh, well, not largest bird, but largest woodpecker. So the grail bird um, would be an example, you know, folks down in um, Louisiana, Arkansas, do I dare say Texas, have been on a search for that bird for years. In fact, last comment on, as we look at this giant poster from my friend Mary in Crawfordville, Georgia, look at these birds, man. You could stare at this poster and learn your birds before you get outside and go birding. Isn't that cool? Was it Spoonbill? We had one of those at Pink Down. Um, okay, Freedom, what was I saying? Woo! No. Oh, just saying that um, the grail bird uh, is one of the, one example that... Oh, yeah, on YouTube. Somebody wrote me and they're like, Oh, the uh, ivory Bill woodpecker is still alive. I was like, uh, okay, no, it's not really. Unless you have a, a photo of it. Then that person would become famous overnight. Right, Freedom? <laughs> And that's what we're hoping for. Woo! Freedom, we're still waiting for overnight success. It hasn't happened. Uh, it'll be seven years total uh, filming for YouTube. I've got 14,000 videos posted, 8,000 more to go. And um, we're, we're not an overnight success. Hey, Freedom. But we just love educating people and sharing people the fun that you can have with your parrot. And um, Freedom's just in a travel cage, sometimes to be in different parts of the house. But he's got a 36-inch cage upstairs. Hey, Freedom. And when he's in this cage, guess what? Here's an ottoman. I can sit next to Freedom, okay? And then we're going to use our laptop. HP Envy. And, um, look at, look at my little cats. I've got, um, big cat videos coming out from Jacksonville Zoo, um, Central Florida Zoo, Bush Gardens, like behind the scenes, really amazing. Now, I already posted it. Anything that I ever do on my cell phone, I post immediately. But then, I'm like way behind. Okay, these feathers are from Captive Birds at Feather Friends Forever. They were the McCall Birds, the blue ones, and the red also. Um, and, and that's where I adopted Freedom. Feathered Friends Forever. Okay, Freedom, we're signing off live because we got two Zoom meetings today. Bye, Freedom. Have a great day.